Hey, I'm Dale. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a website with WordPress in just 10 minutes. Yes, it can actually be done that quick. A lot of people think that you need to hire a developer or you need to know how to code or you need to spend weeks learning how to build a website. And it's just not true. You can do it in just a few minutes and I'm gonna show you how right now. So the very first step to creating your website is getting your web hosting and your domain name. And the hosting provider that I recommend is Hostinger. This is because I've tried them all and Hostinger is definitely the fastest, the most reliable, and most importantly to me, it's the most user friendly. So to get the very best deal for your hosting, just click on the very first link in the description and that will take you to my landing page here with Hostinger. And you can see my face right here. And then you just go ahead and click grab deal and then it's gonna take you down here and obviously you'll wanna choose the best plan for you. In my opinion, the business plan is the best. You get more websites, you get more storage, and even a free CDN, which really helps speed up your website. So I'm gonna go ahead and click choose plan for the business plan, which is only $3 a month. And here is where you can choose your billing cycle. So the longer plan that you sign up for, the cheaper it's going to be. Uh, I don't recommend going with the one month. It's gonna be the most expensive at $14 a month and you don't get a free domain name. So I highly recommend going with at least the 12 month period. And that's still only $4.50 a month and there's no setup fee and you get a free domain name. So whenever you select your billing period, just come down here and make sure that you've got create a pro website over here in the coupon code section. That's gonna get you an additional 10% on top of the already existing discount. And then just go ahead and click on continue. And then here you're just gonna fill in your billing address, which I've already done, and then just click continue. And then just fill out your card info and then you can just click on submit payment. And then that's done and you can just click on get started. And from here, we're gonna say create a website and then next. And then we're gonna be using WordPress and then next. And then here you can just create your login details for WordPress. So I'm just gonna put in a new password and then just click next. And then from here, we're gonna choose neither of these and do create a blank site. And then here is where you can claim your free domain name. So just go ahead and type in whatever one that you want. And if it says free right here, that means that it's available. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select it and then click next. And then just click finish registration. And now it's just getting your website set up for you. And here you can select where your target audience is located. I'm gonna leave it as default and click on install WordPress. And now Hostinger is installing WordPress for you. Okay, so now anytime that you wanna sign in to your WordPress website, just go up and type it in here and then just do slash wp-admin, just like that. And then that will take you to the login for your website. So then just fill in your details and then log in. And here we are inside your WordPress dashboard. Now the next step is to install a theme. And the theme that we wanna install, it's called Astra. So what we're gonna do is just go on over to appearance and then go to themes and then go up here to add theme. And then we're just gonna type in Astra. And then you can see Astra right here. We're just gonna click on install and then click activate. And then you should have this little Astra menu over here in your toolbar. And we're just gonna go on over to dashboard. And then you'll see starter templates up here. Just go ahead and click on that because we're gonna be starting with a template so that it does most of the work for us. So then just go ahead and click on start building now. And now a really important step is to first click on the back button. I know we just got here, but click on the back button and then select Elementor. This is the page builder that we're gonna be using. And then just go ahead and scroll down and find a template that you wanna start with that most fits your business. Now some of them are premium, but there are a lot of free options as well. So I'm gonna scroll down and find one that I like. I'm gonna go with this one right here. And here you can upload your site logo if you have one. I don't have one, so I'm gonna leave it blank. But you can also change the font here, and then you can also select a color scheme as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and leave just the standard black. And don't worry, we can customize further. So just go ahead and click continue. And then you can select any extra features that you want with your site, but I'm gonna go ahead and say continue. And then you'll just go ahead and fill out some information about yourself and your business. And then you can just go ahead and click submit and build my site. Congratulations, your site is now ready. So just go ahead and click view your site. And now here we can see our entire site. 
it's ready to go and ready to start customizing. So to do that, just click on edit with Elementor. So Elementor is so simple. So here in this big pink box that I have highlighted up here is a section. And you can see this is a section as well. And then this is its own section. Pretty much anything with a different background is its own section. And then within sections, you have columns. So this little gray dotted container right here is a column. And then within columns, you have your elements, which will have the little pencil icon. And all of your elements are right over here. If you click on the plus button, you can see all of the elements that you can drag into your website. So to edit anything, you can just click on it. And if it's text, you can just simply write right on the screen. And if you want to edit how that looks, you can just go over to the toolbar over here and go to style. And you can change anything about that text, like its size or its color, basically anything that you want. And let's say that I'd want to replace this background image. You can just go up to the six dots for this section and just click on that and then go on over to style. And then you can see the image right here. And then you can just click choose image. And here is where you can upload your own image or you can even search through images right here and you'll get a bunch of free images that you can use as well. And then just close out. And if you want to move sections around, it's as simple as just clicking on the six dots for that section and then just drag it down somewhere else just like that. And then you can also click Control Z if you want to undo anything. And you can even start sections from scratch. So wherever you want to add one, you just go ahead and click on the plus button. And you can use a starter template. You can ask AI to create one for you. There's also some pre-made ones in here, or you can just start with a fresh one and then just choose the flex box. And then you can just choose your structure. So you can do multiple columns, one big one, really whatever you want to do. So if you just choose this one, you can also just go ahead and drag these boxes around anywhere that you want. And adding in elements is so simple. So you just go over to the plus button and then we could maybe add in an image here and then we can go back to the plus button and we could add in some heading text over here, just like this, which is a little huge. And then we'll also add maybe a button. So we'll just go ahead and grab the button and just drag it in down here. And editing this stuff is so simple. Like I said, you just click on it and replace it over here. Or you can just tap right in here and change the text to whatever you want. And then you can also change this button's color, hover animation, anything that you want to do. And if you want to get rid of a section, just go ahead and click on the X. And then just make sure that you're clicking on the publish button or the update button as often as possible to save your work. And if you come up here, you can also edit your website for mobile and tablet. So most people actually view websites on mobile. So you really wanna make sure that this is solid on mobile, which it looks like it is because we started with a template. But anything that you edit on mobile, as long as it has this little symbol right over here with the little mobile portrait symbol, as long as it has that, it's not going to affect the other versions. So with this text, I can just come over here and I can change the size of that text like that. And if I go back to the desktop version, it's unaffected. So just click publish. And then we're gonna go back over to WordPress over here and exit to WordPress. And then back to WordPress again. And if you're a blogger and you're writing blog posts, you can find your posts over here in the post button. Just go ahead and click on that and you can find your blog post here. So if you don't want one, you can just send it to the trash just like that or you can click on add post and then that will allow you to create a new one just like this. And then the same with pages. So if we go back, you can see our pages over here. Just click on pages and you can see that all we've really got is a home page and a privacy policy page, but you might want to add an about page or a services page, whatever it is that you want to do for your business. And to do that, you just click on add page. And then again, you can just click on edit with Elementor to edit a whole new page with Elementor's drag and drop system as well. And then just go back. And then if you wanna add any new plugins to increase the features on your website and what it can do, just click on plugins. And then you can just go to add plugin. And here you'll find tons of free options to help you increase the functionality of your site. Just go up here and search for anything that you want. And then you can also manage your plugins by going over here to installed plugins. And the goal here is to keep your plugins as minimal as possible. The more plugins you have, the more it can slow down your website. So if there is one that you want to get rid of, you can just go ahead and click on deactivate. And then you can just go down and delete it. 
And while we're here, we're also going to go to our settings and click general. And here is where you can fill in your site title and your tagline, which will show up here in this tab. And you can also add a site icon, which will be this little icon up here, also known as a favicon. And then just make sure you go down and click save changes. And the last step is to create a menu for your website. So we're going to go up to our site and click visit site. And from here, we're going to click customize. And this is Astra's customization. So this is just for our header and our footer mainly. So to change our menu, we're just going to go over here to menus and then just click on primary menu. And here you can see all of our menu items. So the about page is this one right here. And if you want to edit it, just click here and add whatever you want. And if you want to add a new one, you can just go over to add items. And from here, you can do a custom link. So you could go to a whole different URL. You can also do a whole different page on your website and you can add a new page right from here. So I could say work with me and then just add it. And if I hide these controls, you can see that that was now added to our menu. And if there's anything else that you need to edit with your header or your footer, you can just hover over and just click on it and it will allow you to edit it right here in this menu. And then don't forget to click publish. All right, so that was how to make a website with WordPress in just 10 minutes. It's really that simple. And if you do have any questions, please feel free to drop a comment and I'll try to respond as soon as I can. And if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button or consider subscribing to my channel if you want to see more tutorials like this. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Dale McManus and I will see you on the next one.